What is up, guys? Ian for the Zay and Madden channel. In today's video, we're going to show you an absolutely surgical cover two beater out of the Washington Redskins Madden Live alternate playbook. But before we do that, guys, please make sure you take a quick second, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of the content I've got coming your way here on the Zay and Madden channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 live, check me out on twitch.tv slash ozano. I've got exclusive sub only content there for my subscribers. And I'm currently working on my Washington Redskins offense that I will be giving out to my subscribers as well. Today, I wanted to give a sneak preview of the things that I'm working on. So let's go ahead and get into today's tip, guys. Gun stack Y flex. The play that we're going to be looking at is the fade out. If you guys have been watching me on that Twitch channel, again, twitch.tv slash ozano, you guys have noticed that I'm running a hot route master offense and I am running mainly the jumbo stuff. Now, in today's video, we're going to show you something that I really like to do situationally out of some of the three receiver, one running back, one tight end personnel. And this is going to be the gun stack Y flex uh, fade out. And this is a great cover two beater. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into concepts cover two. Obviously, we're going up against the Niners. They've got an insane, insane pass rush. So uh, kind of bear with me in that regard. But what we're going to be looking at here in general is just how good this play is as an Ohio concept. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you first and foremost against any cover two in the game. If you just quick snap this and throw the ball to X on his outcut, he is wide open underneath of the fade route. So we're going to show you what I mean here. A little inside release. Now he's going to run that. You just throw a bullet pass and possession catch in front. If you have out route specialist in out elite, that is going to be almost a guaranteed catch every time. It should never get intercepted. So just kind of be aware of that. Obviously, again, you just throw the bullet pass, possession catch in front of it. It's stealing six yards. I do not pass lead this upfield. Obviously, if you pass lead this upfield, this is something that can and will on occasionally, uh, you know, if you pass lead up, you see right there how it gives, gets you hit. You can still hold on to it, but it is something just to be aware of. Now, the other thing you could do, guys, is you could go ahead and just put this guy on a uh, regular out route, not a C route. Just put him on a regular out route. That's going to work pretty easy, easy as well. As you can see, you can get about, you know, five, six yards on that throw. Um, if you don't want to go up to, you know, seven, eight, nine yards on the deeper outcut, this is something that you could definitely throw. I mean, you see right here that fade route pulls the cloud flat back and you're able to kind of throw that baby out route underneath. But again, guys, if you want to steal the, you know, seven, eight, nine yards, you can go ahead and throw that ball as well. Just like a little possession catch. You see right there, it's going to get you about seven to nine yards. Truthfully, though, guys, I really don't like to run that route. Um, what I actually like to do with this is I like to use my Hot Route Master quarterback. For those that are curious, I use Doug Williams with Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, and Identified to know where the user is on the field. And I will use the Hot Route Master, and I will place that back receiver in the stack on a fade stop, and I will smart route it. And what you're going to notice here with this is that uh, the vertical hook does not sink deep enough on this play while the fade drops to the outside and pulls the cloud flat away. And we're going to be able to throw this ball pretty easily to that route over the top of that vertical hook. Now there's the pass rush I was talking about. Uh, you do need a little bit of time for this vert hook to drop, which is uh, why we're going to introduce another little pull route to pull the, the coverage down a little bit. But I'm going to try to show you that with enough time, you can actually throw this. So if you see here, you just wait on it. You know, it's there. You throw that little throw over the top of that vert hook. Obviously, they're going to have to use it. A computer player is not going to react, especially a computer linebacker. Uh, but let's say that they're in some sort of coverage that maybe is nickel or dime personnel, and that vertical hook is a DB who can make an animation on the ball. What we're going to do here is we're going to drag the receiver or the slot tight end underneath just to kind of pull that vertical hook down a little bit. And you're going to see how it bites down, and that's going to allow you to really tuck that throw over the top. Uh, of that vertical hook. So very, very easy throw that you can make on this play. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is that with this setup, you would expect that because we have a double post over here pre-snap and we drag Watson, you would think that the, the mid read zone would open up and run to the right. What you see in all actuality is that it doesn't. It just sits here in the middle of the field. It doesn't turn and run with anything. And you have this backside post route, this little steeper post that you're gonna be able to throw uh, over the middle as well. So. We're going to go ahead and show you here on this play how he's going to run that. Uh, and you're going to be able to fit this throw into that backside. So you see right here how he splits the safeties. You just throw that pass lead right through the middle, wide open behind the mid read zone and in front of the safeties in between the safeties rather on that play. Now, another thing that you can do with this play, guys, uh, if you get time is use the X receiver on a comeback route. The fade comeback is a great way to cause the cloud flat to match door set man to man. And then what you can end up doing is 
kind of throw this comeback route into the area outside of the vertical hook. So we'll try to show that to you here. It's going to break back to the outside. You see how that's going to sit right there in that pocket. You could throw that ball there and pick up big yardage. The nice thing about this set is that the stack is kind of, they're not really wide. Like if we were to audible out into like, you see if I can find a spread concept. If we were to audible out into a spread, notice how Edelman goes all the way out to the red line versus, and you see that if we were to pull up Edelman's hot routes, we're able to get, you know, out, outside receiver hot routes on Edelman, right? But if we audible back into this formation, Edelman still classifies as an outside receiver having the fade stop, corner, post, and post corner. So this is a really phenomenal way uh, to be able to create some pretty unique route combinations with those outside posts, those skinny posts from a slot receiver position without actually having to use motion. Uh, it's pretty interesting that you can do that. Now, of course, the inside receiver on this stack gets the regular um, slot route. So he's going to get, you know, your flat corners. He's going to get your flat posts. So you're going to have the ability to kind of, you see right here, if we were to run a route combination that looks like this, you're going to get two levels of breaking posts. There's a lot of nuance to this formation. Uh, this is something I'll go into situationally. I have a lot of success out of the jumbo. If you guys have been watching me on my Twitch channel, again, twitch.tv slash OZNO, you guys have noticed that I've been running their jumbo stuff. Um, and that is something that, again, my subscribers on my Twitch channel will get access to that uh, content within, I would say, about two weeks. It's going to take me a little bit of time, uh, very similar to the content I used to shoot uh, for the site that I worked before I broke off and did this on my own. Um, it's going to take me a little bit to shoot that content, but kind of want to give you a sneak preview into kind of the, the variety that I'm going to be bringing offensively out of such an underserved playbook. I think a lot of players really sleep on the Washington Redskins playbook. If face value, it doesn't have a lot of pizzazz, but what it does have is some very unique formations and some good formation groupings that have the same personnel that you can audible between, hit some nuance that your opponent isn't labbed up against defensively, and move the ball downfield. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tip. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next video. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab, and good luck.